Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting uh, coding uh, problem on our hands. So uh, it's simple, but it's tricky because uh, of the constraints. So we are tasked to find the square root of a non-negative integer uh, x without using any built exponent function or operator. Yes, you heard it right. So uh, let's try to solve it. Our task is to return the square root of x rounded down to nearest integer, but we can't use uh, the power, so we will take a slightly different path. So we will try to utilize binary search. So I know it might uh, wondering binary search for the square root, but yes, uh, it might work really well uh, here. So let's uh, see, for example, we have four, so square root uh, of four is obviously two, uh, square root of uh, nine is obviously three, but uh, square root of eight is uh, will be two because it's uh, yeah so it's output uh, two because it's two with a remainder so let's for example consider uh, 50 so if x is 50 we need to output uh, seven because it's seven something because we know seven uh, to the power of seven square is 49 and how to use a binary series so we can start from between two and uh, x to the divided by two so for example for 50 we will have uh, 25 and we will set a two pointer left pointer and right pointer and uh, every time we will have a, a middle element so uh, we find a middle uh, element uh, here so uh, our first uh, middle uh, element will be uh, 13th and then our right element will be uh, new right will be uh, 12 so we go go here and then we have uh, 2 and uh, 12 so new middle will be uh, 7 so here is a, a middle element uh, 7 and uh, yeah so basically uh, if we have here for example 13 so we check uh, we compare uh, middle element so 13 to the uh, power of 2 so 169 uh, is uh, greater than our number so uh, 50 then we compare 49 uh, 49 is less than uh, 50 so it's a second comparison then our uh, middle element will be uh, 10 so here is 10 because we go uh, yeah so we go here then we go here then we go here and finally uh, we go uh, yeah with seven so finally we will get uh, seven but uh, our uh, middle elements will be uh, as follows so it will be uh, 13 uh, then 7 then uh, 10 then uh, 8 and uh, yeah so those will be uh, middle uh, elements and our uh, left elements uh, to uh, present so it will be uh, 2 then it will be uh, here uh, 2 as well uh, then we will have the left uh, element as 8 and then we will have a left element as uh, 8 as well and yeah starting uh, from the uh, top so uh, first we have 25 as a right element uh, so uh, 12 uh, then we have uh, 12 as well and we have 9 and uh, we go yeah so we go like this so we have uh, we are narrowing uh, the the search space so uh, here 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 and uh, because uh, also very important so uh, we set our pointer so for example r will be uh, middle element minus one and left will be uh, middle element plus one so we jump one position uh, here or one position uh, to the uh, right so here will be plus one and here will be uh, minus one from uh, this uh, yeah side so let's uh, now uh, implement uh, our uh, code so uh, check if the input number is less than 2. 
So if so, the square root of the number will be the number itself. So if x is less than 2, it will be x return x. So it will be 1 or 0. And uh, setting the left and right uh, pointers for the binary search. So we have left, right, and it will be 2, and x divided by 2. And uh, perform the binary search. So binary search will be while left less or equal right. What we do, we calculate the middle value. So middle value will be middle left plus right minus left. So it's space and divided by uh, two. And then we calculate the square of middle value. So it will be number and it will be middle times middle. So for example, 13 times 14, 169. If the square is equal to x, we found our integer uh, square root. So if number is x, we return a uh, middle part. So if the square is less than x, we discard the left half. So else num less than x uh, left will be middle plus one so we go one and num will be for example 169 and uh, 15 comparison so if the square is more than uh, x we discard the right uh, half so else so for example yeah here will be right is middle minus one so 169 is greater than 50 and we can't find an exact root the integer square root will be in the right pointer so return right yeah and in last step uh, you saw it was 8 and 8 minus 1 uh, that's why we uh, output uh, 7 because we always round it down so let's run our uh, code and see if it's working so uh, yeah hopefully it will work so it's working perfectly we can submit it also for unseen test cases so yeah for unseen test cases it's also working and you can see that our implementation is really efficient because uh, we beat 99.59% uh, of order runtimes and also with respect to memory 93 so uh, it's really uh, yeah efficient so uh, you can see how we uh, implement it and also uh, describe visually so if we uh, have this solution so uh, we test it and uh, you have a basic uh, understanding how we can also implement uh, it so and there you have it uh, we solve this problem using a binary search instead of built-in exponent function or any operator and i hope you found this approach interesting and uh, quite intuitive and to uh, yeah you can try out more uh, examples on your own uh, to get a hang of it and don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting coding uh, problems and uh, challenges happy coding See you next time.